All righty, I have a really exciting update for you guys today. We have been really hard at work scouring the park um, for stuff, and we have finally been piecing together some really interesting things to discuss um, about 2023. If you're a huge roller coaster enthusiast, you might still be excited. But if you're not a roller coaster enthusiast or you're a theme park enthusiast or, you know, you're a family or a kids, I know a lot of my viewers are a lot younger, you're going to probably be really excited about this. But we'll talk about that later. The restaurant at Canada's Wonderland is moving along rapidly. I'm going to prove that in tomorrow's construction update. So we have a really exciting um, stuff tomorrow that you'll get to see tomorrow as well. Um, but you're going to see how much of the building is done. So super excited to show you guys, but nonetheless, as you can tell, Timber Kits is busting it out um, with this structure, and it really looks impressive. I'm really excited. We were studying kind of some of the angles for some photos, and you're going to be able to get some really awesome shots of Vortex, of Yukon, of the mountain with the restaurant when it's completed, and you guys are in for a surprise because the sign shot people, when you see the sign for this building... It's going to look amazing, okay? Um, they are obviously, as you've seen around the park, gonna, they're putting a lot of money into this building. Just let me put it that way. A lot of money is going into this building. Um, it's gonna have some really awesome photo ops, uh, maybe a canoe or two, if that makes sense. But yeah, no, I'm really excited. I know you guys are gonna be really excited. Uh, it's gonna have a bar, which is super exciting. Um, they've got the foundation in for the deck. And yeah, just Wonderland's really put a lot of money into this, and it's going to look phenomenal. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with fireworks. I do not, I, I've already said this in another video, but I do not know how Wonderland's going to make it work. I really don't. Um, I'm kind of, I am I'm, I'm, I guess it's one of those things I'll wait to see. But it should be ready by May 2-4, fingers crossed, should be ready by May 2-4 for the fireworks show. So that is a sign that they have intentions to utilize the fireworks in that area, if that's the goal. But yeah, nonetheless, we'll keep you posted on this, and uh we're definitely got another new area of the park that we're keeping an eye on that you'll see um, very shortly for this video. Um, but nonetheless, um, some exciting news. Dragonfire doesn't have its second train on yet, but it will shortly. Um, Mindbuster has had its second train on. Why? It's just maintenance has fallen behind. It was a really rough winter. Um, the weather didn't help out with getting the park ready, and the park did open a week earlier. So it was several things working against the park. But yeah, any ride that you don't see open or any ride with two trains, it's simply that. The more exciting news is the park is really well staffed already. So uh, places around the park like this refresh center are open. They usually aren't. So that's really exciting. Um, nothing going on over at Action Theater. We are keeping our eye on there. But there is a lot of new things at Dinosaurs Alive. There are new stakes everywhere. And there's lined up everywhere. They have gas line markers, water markers, electrical markers. Um, just excavation markers, which is usually that red stake. They can usually mean electrical, but usually the red flags mean electrical. The red stakes usually mean excavate, but again, it depends on the construction site and the project, so it's really hard to predict. But usually, orange and red markers do mean excavate here or dig here, um, but I'm just reporting on based what I know on previous projects. Uh, but there are a ton of markers littered all over here. Um, and the even more exciting thing is Worlds of Fun's Dinosaurs Alive has construction in a very similar way starting. Um, so it could be a similar project coming to both parks. And Worlds of Fun is rumored, again, rumored, um, take with a grain of salt, no confirmation, no hearing from my relatively good sources. Um, but is rumored to be potentially getting, you know, a coaster, whether that be a family coaster, a kid coaster, or just by the same company. Um, it could even not be a coaster. It could be like a new experience that both the parks are going to get. But nonetheless, it's a really exciting, very large plot of land with uh, markers all over it. I'm trying to show you trees are now even marked for removal, um, even in some other parts. But the stakes reach all the way around. Like here's another shot further down so it's definitely something big whether it ends up being a restaurant and a new just expansion doubling the size of planet snoopy this back portion it is much needed or if it's a roller coaster similar to fire chaser express or even on a super smaller scale that's just me like really predicting something because for those of you that don't know fire chaser express has a really low 
uh, height requirement and would work really well. But yeah, really exciting. We'll keep an eye on there. We'll keep you guys updated on that. Coasters reopened, Coasters Drive-In reopened, and it has doubled its capacity. And the more exciting news is, along with doubling its capacity with having two points of sale on either end and two points of ordering on either end, the food is pre-prepared in the back similar to catering and brought out. So as you're ordering your food, it's being made right in front of you and then you quickly go and pay. So not only did Canada's Wonderland double its capacity in this restaurant building um, in terms of ordering and having your food made, they've also um, increased the speed of service by having the food pre-made and just being made similar to catering out front. So really excited to see how that plays out in a hot summer day because this is one of those restaurants that usually gets an hour long line. So that hour long line could now be like 30 minutes or 20 minutes, which is pretty normal for your standard ordering food and taking out. So really excited to see how that plays out. Definitely just wanted to show you guys um, this as I hadn't seen it posted anywhere else. No one else had checked this out yet. So I threw it in this video, my regular intention, I only filmed a 13 second clip because I was just going to post it on Instagram, but I thought, hey, this is pretty newsworthy. Um, so definitely really looking forward to the new restaurant. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's update because you guys are going to want to really see tomorrow's update. It's super exciting. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, thank you so much for watching the channel. Um, thank you to anyone who's come up to me and taken the time to say hi to me at Canada's Wonderland. Um, it's definitely a, a, a different experience with the amount of people uh, now coming up to say hey, and I'm a really shy person, so I apologize in advance if I'm really sucking this year at um, socializing. Don't be afraid of me. Trust me, I'm more scared of you. I always say that, but it's true. Um, but yeah, thank you for supporting the channel and just continuing to watch the videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, 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 you're having an amazing week and see you guys at the park this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there all three days. So uh, yeah, have an amazing one, guys. Bye.